Hey guys, um, welcome to the 50th episode of Meltdown Miller. Um, it's pretty crazy that we've gotten this far, so as a treat, we are doing my first ever live or any uh, broadcast of using a uh, Shattered Fates uh, deck. Um, so let's start. I'll, I'll keep talking later. Um, oh, I really like Plague. Ah, that's okay. Alright. Um, I am playing as Skurvox, which is, uh, so far my favorite Shattered, one of my favorite Shattered Fates heroes. Um, I have played maybe half a dozen games with Shadow Fates cards, uh, Shattered Fates cards. See, clearly I don't even know them, uh, too much still. Um, so I'm still learning. Um... But, uh, it's been pretty fun so far. I'm, I'm playing it really conservatively here. Uh, I'm using three Call of the Crystals booster packs, um, and just one Shattered Fates. Um, that's, uh, just enough for me to start learning how, uh, all the cards go and still having, uh, the, the chance of winning. Um, with the, uh, Call of the Crystals, which is obviously what I'm most comfortable with. So, uh, again, since it's mostly Call of the Crystals here, uh, I have two tomes of knowledge, which will be important. I need to draw as many cards as possible, especially since I don't necessarily know how to take advantage of every card, uh, as well as I would want to. They have Zaladar, which causes me damage, which could be a problem. I really want to keep this just in case I get milled, especially since I'm churning through cards really quickly. Hmm. What would be good? No, I'll probably draw one of those later. Oh, yeah, this guy. All right, all right, we'll get rid of this guy first. Um. Okay. I'm just going to keep drawing cards. It really never hurts to go and do that. Here, we'll use the boomerang. So we get the card back as soon as I attack, unless I straight up did not understand how this worked. Let's see. Oh, it gains one base attack every time it deals combat damage. So that's going to cause me... Well, I'll be able to use my ability on the next round. There we go. Again, I'm still learning these cards as I'm playing them. This is probably, I think this is the first time I've ever seen Dread Wolf be played. I'll be able to use my shadow ability on the next round, um, which I would love to, especially if they draw another ally. If they don't draw another ally, that causes me some problems. I'll probably just go and use my weapon at that point. Okay, they caused two, so we'll go and use our ability at that point. Probably put down Plasma Behemoth. It's a good card drawing one, but I don't really need it right now since I have Tome of Knowledge. So Sacrifice. Here's... Let's use the ability first. All opposing allies are disabled and at the start of your turn and poisoned. So let's use that. There we go. Frankly, I assume that he knew that that was going to come, so we'll see what kind of counter he has. He is low on resources. He does have a lot of cards, but so do I. Fireball, okay, so that'll, that'll kill us a bunch. Okay, goodbye Plasma Behemoth. The wolf is going to cause us a bunch of damage, so I'm probably just going to have to use... Alright, Reconnaissance. That's okay. What do we want to do? Alright, I don't really want to use this just yet, but... It's more powerful if I use higher powered cards, but... I want to get rid of the dread wolf before it just straight keeps causing damage. So there we go. <clears throat> so 
So I'm not doing great right now, although again, he's only he only has three resources, so he doesn't have too many options. Uh, I'll probably use Rampage next, so at least I can get something back. Okay. Here's Rampage, so I'll start getting some. Hmm. Okay, we'll save those for later so that we can draw a card. Skip. Here's Rampage, so that we can start gaining health whenever somebody dies. And here it goes. Okay. I'm two turns away from being able to use my shadow ability. I still have the card draw advantage. Um, and the resource advantage. He's catching up, but he is he doesn't have any way to draw cards currently. Raven Wildheart, I mean I'm gonna, you know. Take a bunch of damage from her. I'll probably use a uh, book of curses so that I can minimize the damage, and I'll probably go ahead and use tracking gear. Uh, I won't be able to draw a card, but I want to be able to see what he's got so that I at least have some way of. Uh... All right, sorcerer, we'll skip you for now. Skip book of curses and tracking gear. Okay. Let's end the turn. The tough thing here is, while I will be able to disable uh, Raven in the next turn, I don't really have a way of killing her. Um, and Zaladar still has his shadow abilities, and it looks like he has Supernova and Poison Arrow, which means he will be able to disable or dispatch of any heroes or any allies that I might put down. At least I'll take some uh, health back for Devoted Knight. And, you know, maybe, hopefully, we can take get some damage-causing uh, card on the next one for Raven. Although we need something for Belladonna also that he might he will probably draw next. Um, yeah, we can keep him. All right, I'll I'll get rid of battle plans for now. All right, let's draw a card. Okay, and use our ability. Who's good? Another friendly Templar ally. We don't have any Templar allies. Okay, there we go, get some health back. He will probably poison me and then he can also draw Belladonna, which is a problem. And now he kind of has a, a card advantage. Um, so we got a play this pretty smart if we still want a chance to survive. Yep. There's the poison arrow, and if I was him, I'd draw Belladonna. Yep. Now he's got a lot of cards. And he's got a disabler. Okay, that's good. Uh, we can get rid of... Uh... I'll get rid of the Master Smith right now. Let's get rid of Raven and put down Zoe. There we go. He could disable Zoe and then use Belladonna to attack my Templar champion. He do have he does have Smite and Supernova, obviously, which I'm assuming he's just saving until I have down to 5 health, which will not be for much longer. So I need to get rid of Belladonna quickly, so at least I can get some health back. But with if, if he uses Smite on me, then it'll be pretty over. 
Yep, captured prey, and then Belladonna will go attack them. Okay, so we survive just an extra turn or two. He has not used Smite on me yet. Alright, we don't need that for now. I uh, wish I'd had that earlier. It's okay. Okay, let's draw this. Controls at least three items. He does not, unfortunately. Or... Alright, we'll just draw him out. He can use Smite on me at this point. Wow, another Captured Prey. Alright. I would like to think that he wouldn't use that. Okay, that's fine, unless he uses it on me. Basically, I'm trying to keep him from causing damage to me. Nope, he'll, he'll go ahead and cause damage to me. Okay. <laughs> that card won't help us, so let's see if the next one will. Okay, there we go. Let's cause some damage. Thank goodness. Not really going to do much. He has a shadow ability now. I would probably use that and smite if I was him. Let's see. Nope, Supernova first. So I'll be down to one health. So I think this is going to end up being a loss, which is an inauspicious beginning to playing Shattered Fates, but we assume that since I'm still pretty new at this. Death Mage Thaddeus, that's not going to help. So let's see. Let's draw one more card and see what it could be. Yep. Unfortunately, this will end up being a loss. All right, let's end the turn, and he'll take us out of our misery. Unless, hey, maybe he doesn't. I don't know. If he's nice. Nope, here comes Smite to me. And I'm dead. Shadow ability. All right, well... We'll play better next time. Lots of room for improvement. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you uh, next time. Bye.